Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. About two days ago, Ubiquity released Unify Identity in the United States. In Canada, in the EU, it's currently still an EA. So in this video, we're going to go over what UID is, see some of the features, and also go through the dashboard. We're going to have to make a whole lot of videos on Unify Identity as it's pretty big. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. If you'd like to support the channel, we do have memberships available and you could click the join button below. First, we're just going to go through this web page and read what UID is about. And I will post a link below for this web page if you want to go there directly. UID is to secure your organization simply and experience the full power of Unify. We have identity as a service customized site and user access with the secure cloud-based IDAS solution. We have layered security suite, which we could optimize network security through a combination of single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, and lifecycle management services. We have easy to use user management, and we have easy access. So it's one-click Wi-Fi and one-click VPN. We have UID Wi-Fi, the easiest, fastest, and safest way to connect to your corporate's Wi-Fi. One-click Wi-Fi connections. Connect and authenticate your access instantly. And then we have multi-platform support. So we could have it on iOS, Android, Mac OS, or Windows devices. Next up, we have a UID access, which I'm pretty excited about. So UID access securely manage your access control system, allow employees to unlock doors with their phone, NFC card, or a variety of other easy authentication methods. So we have multiple authentication methods. Like they said, we could tap your mobile device, NFC cards, enter a pin, or wave your hand to gain access. We also have remote access, so we could greet guests from your mobile device when they call through a UA Pro Reader. And we'll do a whole video just on UID access. And then we have UID VPN. Access your organization's VPN anytime with a single click. One click VPN connection. Connect and authenticate your access instantly, and it supports multi-platform. We have safe application access, verify every user and device with multi-factor authentication services. So we could use the UI verify push notifications, security questions, applications, OTP codes, SMS, and it does support YubiKeys. We also have universal directory, which lets us integrate AD, LDAP, G Suite, or Office 365. And then we have our lifecycle management. Add, edit, and remove users quickly and securely. Streamline on and off boarding process by automatically tailoring resources and services across based on individual role and status, e.g. their network and door access, cloud application use, AD, LDAP, etc. Now let's take a look at the hardware requirements of what we could run on which pieces of gear. So for our Dream Machine Pro running Unify OS 1.11+, we could use UID Wi-Fi, UID VPN, and UID Access. The same goes for the Dream Machine Special Edition. For our Network Video Recorder Pro, the only thing that we could run on this is UID Access. And the same goes for our Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. And then down below, we have some different pricing plans. I'm just going to be using the free basic plan, but we have a standard plan, pro plan, and then enterprise plan. Let's go over what's included in the free plan, and then you could just read what they include in these other plans. So we have up to 50 users, a minimum of one user. We have one site up to five doors. It gives 30 days of activity logging and then seven days of access video capture storage. So it includes the directory, universal directory with G Suite Office 365 CSV, lifecycle management, multi-factor authentication, the UID Wi-Fi, the UID VPN, door access, UI desktop mobile app, UID manager mobile app, the workflow and approvals, up to five workflows and then we have notice help desk and org chart so as you can see uid is a huge huge platform so now we're going to go into actually setting this up the first thing we need to do to start getting uid set up is apply for a uid invite we click the apply for uid invite and then we need to fill in this information i've already created myself a workspace but we need our email our full name and then a workspace domain it's going to ask you a couple other questions your phone number I'd like to have a UID workspace for my company or personal use and a couple other things. So fill that out and apply and then wait for the email. The next thing we need to do either on our UDM Pro, our UDM SE or our UNVR or Cloud Key Gen 2 is make sure that the UID identity service is up and running. Here we can see mine is stopped, so we'll start identity. Now we have UID started on our UDM Pro. We could go over to our workspace domain. And then here we're going to log in with our email and password that we set up. 
All right, after I put in my username and password, it's asking us to enroll in multi-factor. So set up multi-factor authentication to secure your account. And this is required. So we need to download UI Verify on our mobile phone. I have an iPhone and I've already downloaded it. So let's press set up. Now with the UI Verify app, we need to scan this QR code. And once we scan it, it says it's complete and we'll press done. We could see over on the side that UI Verify is required and it's already configured. And then we could have different optional factors. So we could do email authentication as well. I'm not going to set that up right now. We're just going to press next. Now it brings us to the UI portal. And this is where we could install different applications. So we could install UI, UI Verify, UI Desktop, and then UID Manager. If we click in the left-hand pane at the top, this is our applications. I currently have UID Manager Portal. On the side, we have our approvals. So we have approvals, pendings, done, my request, CC to me, and then we have at mentions. We have our directory of users, which gives us a name, a job title, the phone number, the location, and our local time. Below that, this is our Unify OSs. So this is which consoles are participating in the UID, and we'll set up my UDM Pro to be a part of this. Next, we have that download page, which just brings you to download the applications, and then we have our help desk. From the help desk, we could assign to me, we have my tickets, all tickets, and then we have different settings. And we could also submit a new ticket. For submitting a new ticket, we could say type multi-factor UID access, UID account, UID VPN, UID Wi-Fi. We could say which site, give it a title, and then details, and we could attach a file if we want. Now let's take a look at the UID Manager Portal. All right, and this is the dashboard to our UID Manager Portal. At the top, we could see which domain we're connected to. We could see user activations, which is 100%, as we only have one user on this right now, which is myself. We see total users and then active users, and we can import users into UID, and then we can set up factors. We also have a bunch of different view tasks, so we could view all tasks. And this is gonna show us things that we need to do. So we have one of six, so we need to import users, add a UID admin, which we've already done. We could set up multi-factor authentication, define security policies. We could build our workflows, and we could also create a help desk. And in the top left-hand corner, we could see this all sites tab. So if we had multiple different sites, we could manage it and switch between them here. If we go down to users, we could see our user, our status, the email and the group roles. And then we have groups, org chart and import users. Under roles, we have a bunch of different ones. So we have owner, super admin, workspace HR admin, workspace IT, workspace read only admin, site admin, site HR admin, site IT admin, and then we have site read only admin. And then we have our different workflows. So we have all forms created by me and then settings. Currently we have no forms created. Let's check what it does. So we'll create a form. We could create a new form or we could use a template. So we have leave or an item request. So let's click on leave. So the form name is leave. We could see the icon, the category is time off and they have a bunch of different categories. We could see who could submit belong to, who could edit, approval policy, execute time, and then description. We're not gonna get into any of these workflows in this video. Below the workflows, we have activities, so we could see everything that's been done. We had see 14 minutes ago that I logged into UID Workspace, challenged by UID sign-on policy, challenged by password policy, activated UI verify push, so on and so forth. So this is pretty detailed. Under security, we have a bunch of different policies that we could set. We have multi-factor and then we have different network zones. And now we're under the settings wheel. So we have our workspace. We have the owner of the workspace. We have the workspace name, the domain, the industry and business, the number of employees, the country or region, province, and then we have logo and we could deactivate this workspace if we'd like. Under security and privacy, we have GDPR compliance. So the display method of user's information when the user is deleted after 90 days. We could have level one, which is keep detail. Level two, keep basics, which is recommended. We have anonymize, and then we have delete completely. And then we have unify OS consoles. Fix unify OS console public IP. Once enabled, the unify OS can only be able to connect to this UID cloud with an allowed public IP. And then we could restrict Unify OS console IPs. Under users, we have specify email for UID account. Here we have any domain or we could do specific domains. We could allow users to see all users. We could allow site admin to see all users, allow site admin to edit site users, allow site admin to add or invite users, 
And then we have who could edit users avatars and under Wi-Fi, this is where we would create our SSID for our workspace. So we have our workspace SSID, maximum duration of Wi-Fi connections, users Wi-Fi password lifetime, it's set to three months. We could specify what we want the Wi-Fi password complexity to be. On default, it's at eight characters. The IoT Wi-Fi password complexity. We could auto set up Wi-Fi on host devices, hide SSIDs, allow all users to connect by default and then requires location detecting when connecting to Wi-Fi. And we also could set up this location detection range. It's by default set to 500 meters and you can't change that. Below we have our VPN. So personal VPN password lifetime, it's one day, one week, or one month. VPN password complexity, and then we have our default VPN proxy. So it could either be global or intranet. We have our door access, which I'm not gonna go over right now because there's a whole lot there. And then we have support. So we could do a technical contact support phone, which is optional or helpline. Under sites, we could see the sites that this workspace manages, and then we could see Unify OS consoles. Currently, we don't have any Unify OS consoles, and that's the next thing we're gonna do. So to add a Unify OS console to this Unify workspace, we need to have a UID agent token. We're gonna create a UID agent token. I'm gonna give it a name, I'll just call it main site. You could have it expire. We'll have it never expire for the purpose of this video, and then we'll press next. So now it's saying create UID agent token. Step one, visit Unify OS console, UID agent and the click update join key button. Step two, paste the join key into the UID agent to activate the UID agent token. So down below, we could see that we have a join key. I'm gonna copy the join key. And we're going to go back to my UDM Pro and we're going to set up identity. So this is saying to activate UID, we have our one-click Wi-Fi, one-click VPN, UID access, and the AD and LDAP integration. So we'll click on I agree to the UID privacy policy and end user license and press activate UID. And then we have please read before setting up UID. Make sure to back up your Unify console and configuration data before setting up UID. Users and devices can only be managed in UID. The Unify Access application will be in read-only mode. Currently, NFC cards and PIN code registrations in Unify Access cannot sync with UID. Please register them in UID to avoid door access issues. Workspace administrators may not be able to access the hosting Unify OS console via its IP address. As such, Please enable the Keep Unify OS Users After Importation option when setting in UID. And we'll press Confirm. Now it's saying Workspace Join Key, and that's that token that we copied. I'm going to paste that in here, and we'll press Next. Now we're on Step 2. It says Select the Site Of, and gives you the name of the site. It's going to tell us the site, and we could click the drop-down menu if we had multiple different sites. It will give us our location, service area, time zone, and floors. We could also create a new site. I'll press Next. Step three, it says import Unify OS users to UID. So I have a few different users here, which we're just only gonna be using the one anyway, and I'll press next. Step four is for Unify Access. I don't have any of the gear plugged in, so I'm just gonna press next. It says, please confirm the following. Offline devices need to be reset manually and configured in Unify Access, devices, and then add devices. If the offline device is no longer in use, please ignore, which we'll just do reset, and then we'll configure it after, and we'll press confirm. Now it's saying upgrading to UID, which is awesome. Now it says UID is activated. Fixed host device IP address is enabled in this workspace. Do not change the public IP address of the host device. And then we're going to press launch UID. Now under the settings, we could see a couple different things. Down below, we have a plan. And our workspace plan right now is just the basics. We could apply for a planned quota. We could also get a quote. And then it tells us a bunch of different things about the plan features. If we look at our Unify OS consoles, we can now see that my UDM is connected to this. Under UID services, we could see we have Wi-Fi configured. We can see the VPN is not configured as well as the access. So that was a lot to go over and there's still a ton of things we need to check out. But for this video, that's going to be all. Now we have UID set up on our UDM Pro. We could now set up the one-click VPN and the one-click Wi-Fi. Again, this is only available in general release in the USA. It's in early access in Canada and the EU. Let me know what you'd like to see and I'll try to put it in my next video about UID. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.